Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to give another round of applause for those testifiers. Those are wonderful testimonies. For seven people that will shout a loud amen. The Lord shall multiply that testimony by seven and give it back to you. He shall give it to you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let me talk to your neighbor. Say your testimony is coming. Say your testimony is coming. Very fast. Say neighbor. I'm telling you today. Your testimony is coming. It's on the fast lane. But listen to me very well. I don't, I don't like the way you are telling your neighbor. Say listen to me very well. Listen to me carefully. My testimony shall be several times greater than your own. If you believe it, jump up and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I have a good news for somebody in the house this morning. The Lord is saying to you this morning, in, it doesn't matter what you have been going through. It doesn't matter where you are coming from. It doesn't matter what the enemy is saying. He said, be of good cheer. Somebody here, the Lord is about to visit you in a new way. I said, the Lord is about to visit you in a new way. The Lord is telling you this morning, be of a good cheer. Even when they told you that that process is going the other way. And we don't think it's going to come out successful anymore. I'm saying to you this morning, whether the devil likes it or not, very soon somebody you will celebrate here. Say, I will celebrate. Say, I will celebrate. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to thank God for the life of the servant of God in the house, Pastor Peter Balogo. He's not around with us this morning. He's in the camp right now, attending to very serious issues. Praise the Lord. And I pray that the Lord that has always been with him shall continually be with him in Jesus' name. But this morning, celebrate Mama with me in the house. Pastor Kemi Balogo. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we bow our head for prayers? Heavenly Father, even as we go into your word, Lord, I ask that you yield me. I ask, oh God, that you will go before me to reach out to your people. That which you have said concerning today's service, you will confirm in the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we are praying. The Lord told me the early hours of this morning, he said immediately after this service, somebody's story here will be changed. I don't know how it's going to happen, but what that is what the Lord said. He said somebody's story in the house is going to change. If you are that person, I want you to shout a bigger amen. Tell your partner sitting right close to you, say your story is going to change. Say watch me. As my story begins to change, tell that your neighbor, say, be of good cheer. Say, be of good cheer. Say, be of good cheer. I don't know what that thing that makes you to frown your face every time, but I say an end has come to it today in the name of Jesus. That particular thing that you usually remember and brings sorrow to your heart, an end has come to it today in the name of Jesus. That thing that makes you to remember something in your family and it dampens your spirit. And then has come to it today in the name of Jesus. We are ever men have gathered together that they perpetrate evil that saddens your heart. I say they shall scatter today in the mighty name of Jesus. Only you that believe in jump up and shout yes. Somebody open with me. Matthew chapter 14 verse 26. 26 and 27. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Before you get to your house today, that news you have been waiting for for a long time shall embrace you. Matthew chapter 14 verse 26 and 27. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled. Somebody say troubled. Somebody say troubled. 
I speak an end to trouble in your life today in the name of Jesus. Say, it is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. They cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, Say, be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. Mark chapter 6, verse 50. Mark chapter 6, the gospel according to Mark chapter 6, verse 50. For they all saw him and were troubled, and immediately he talked with them and said unto them, Be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. And if you go on and on and on and on, we see where God keeps telling his people, Be not afraid. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. And it got to a place in the scripture again. Matthew chapter 9 verse 2. And I want you to hold on to this particular scripture very well. Matthew chapter 9 verse 2. And behold, they brought to him a man sick of palsy, lying on a bed. And Jesus, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer. Thy sin be forgiven thee. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everywhere you see this statement, be of good cheer in the scripture, there is something that always precedes it. There is something that always precedes that statement. And what is that thing that precedes the statement? Fear. It always comes when people are afraid. It always comes when people are troubled. It always comes when it seems as if nothing is working anymore. It always comes when, when it seems as if their life has come to an end. Look at the scenario when the disciples were under the waters. And there was a mighty storm. And suddenly Jesus sighted them from afar. And he started approaching them. But when they saw him coming, what did they see? They said, we are in trouble. Look at the spirit coming. And he said, be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. What is that trouble in your heart? A word is coming for you today. I say, what is coming for you today? I say, what is coming for you today? Fear always comes before this statement comes. And that is why I always tell people that fear remains the strongest instrument in the hand of the devil. One of the things that the Lord said he's going to do today, he said, as many as they have told you, that what is wrong with you has no remedy. He said, here the Lord will prove them wrong today. Maybe you have been to the hospital and they told you that this thing that it doesn't have remedy. You know, it's only for manage. Uh, 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 what do they call? Uh, they can only manage it. Something like cancer. Nobody treats it anymore. They manage it. But God does what? Cures it. If you are here with an incurable disease, today you will not go home with it in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, and behold, they brought to him a man sick of palsy, lying on a bed, and Jesus, seeing their face, said unto the sick of palsy, Son, be of good cheer, thy sin be forgiven thee. Talking about that statement in relation with fear. There's something I want to bring your attention to in this scripture. The man that was sick of palsy had no faith. There is something inside that man. What is inside the man is expectation of death. At that particular point in time, the Bible did not record that the man said anything. The man was no longer making any statement. The man was just waiting for the time he's going to breathe his last breath. And everything will just end. But the people carrying him from one place to the other, they had faith. Let us take this man to the man called Jesus. And if we take him to Jesus, we believe something will happen. And when the Bible is talking about here, he said, the man and, and Jesus, seeing the faith they are faith. Whose faith? Is it, the, is it the faith of the man of Parsi? Whose faith? The faith of the people that carried him to Jesus. In other words, Jesus was no longer looking at the faith of the sick man. Jesus was looking at the faith of the people that brought him to the house. And when you go down to verse 6, you will discover that eventually the man was healed. But something I want to draw your attention to is this. The man that was sick of Parsi may not have faith. So I want to announce to somebody in the house this morning, whether you believe or not, because you are here with that particular challenge in your life, you will not go home with it again in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Let me tell your neighbor, did you hear that? Say, did you hear that? Say, you will not go home with that problem. Whether you believe or you don't believe, you will not go home with that problem. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. If there is anything that is preventing some of us from accepting and receiving the miracle that God has prepared for, has prepared for you, it is fear. It is fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of that sickness. Fear of your boss. Fear of your people. Fear of the village. Fear of ailment. Fear of accident. Fear of plane crash. I once upon a time I met a man, a very wealthy man. This man told me something I found difficult to believe. Very, very wealthy man. He said, but he has never stepped into an aircraft before. I said, why? He said, because he's afraid. Somebody told him that the day he stepped into an aircraft, that is the day he's going to die. And therefore, the enemy has limited him. The enemy has caged him. I don't know what they have used to cage you, but today you are breaking loose in the name of Jesus. Let me tell your neighbor, say you are breaking loose. Say you are breaking loose. So the number one thing that you are going to fight today is fear. Somebody say fear. Somebody say fear. Are you afraid? For those of you that have been living under the perpetual bondage of fear, the Lord will set you free today in the name of Jesus. Many years back, I used to have a friend in those days. I'll just quickly give you this illustration. This, this friend of mine was very courageous. Highly courageous man. And you know, in those days when we used to engage in idle talks, and some of them brought up an issue. They said, well, in the middle of the night, that when you go to the burial ground, the graveside, that you are going to see spirits. How many people have heard that story before? That spirit used to walk around in the night. Well, when you go to the burial ground, you will see some people come to market in the night. Some people will carry lanterns in the night. Praise the Lord. And they were caging us with all manners of fear. Putting us into serious bondage. But this brother came up, he said, it is not true. Then we didn't have much knowledge. He said, it is not true. That if you believe in Jesus, nothing can happen to you. That there is nothing like that there. It's only fear and lies of the enemy. What is fear? False evidence appearing real. That is it. All those things that you are afraid of, of, they are false evidence. They are things that are not real, but appear as if they are real. They are what I call mirage. Somebody say mirage. So that day, they told the brother, tell you, you are always telling us this story. Why don't you go to the graveyard in the night and prove it? Go to the burial ground. Prove it to all that there is no spirit there. He said, I'm ready to go. And the man prepared, but that night he slept off. You are not wiser than the people that are watching you. Hello? They did not leave him alone. They went and woke him up in the middle of the night. This is what you told us in the afternoon. It's time for you to go there. And the man woke up. And he tied his wrap around his neck. You know the tie. Put it around his neck. Folded it. And he proceeded. And they gave him a hammer and a nail. And he said, well, this is going to be the evidence. When you get to that grave, when you get to that, the, the, the burial ground, just nail it in that tree, that mango tree, that big mango tree at the center of the burial ground. In the morning when we come, we will know that actually you went there. So the man went. Today you are going to confront your fear. Hello, somebody. Say, I. Say, I. I shall confront my fear. And I shall overcome it. Say, I shall overcome it. That man you are afraid of is also afraid of you, somebody. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. And he went there. But when he got inside the burial ground, he started hearing all manners of noise. Those are the noises that you are hearing in your body when sickness begins to threaten you. When you begin to feel some pain in your chest, you say, I hope this is not cancer. When you begin to feel some in your back, I hope this is not that incurable disease they told me about. And he started hearing all manners of noises when he got to the entrance of the burial ground. On entering to the place, the first thing he stepped upon was a dry stick. And he made a cracking sound. Kara, and he, you know, he shook. But he told himself again, there is no spirit around here. I can go there. Somebody tell your neighbor, say, encourage yourself. Say, encourage yourself. 
He told himself, he said, there is no spirit here. It's only a lie of the devil. And he proceeded. He carried his wrapper, tied it very well, with a hammer in his hand and a nail in his hand. And he kept going. And he kept going. And he got to a particular place. You know, in the middle of the night, breeze will be blowing in the burial ground. And the, and the trees will be shaking. They will be wavering. And he saw shadow just way before him. And something told him, I hope they have not come out. Hello, somebody. He said, I hope they have not come out. And the man was, you know, fear started coming close to him. But he threw away the fear again. He said, no, he that is in me is greater than he that is in the wall. And he proceeded again. Somebody, you will get to your destination. I didn't hear it loud that he may you will get to your destination. The man refused to be perturbed by that fear. And he kept moving. And he got to a time. He heard the bird crying in the tree. And the devil told him again, these people are having a meeting here. And you have decided to come today of all days. Maybe you should have come on a Sunday. Maybe God will have come with you. But he told the devil, no, I will get to where I'm going. But that fear was coming close to him. You need to get rid of fear in your life. Hello, somebody. Today, everything that has been causing fear in your life shall be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. And when he was about to get to the tree, he saw something like a shadow that just moved. You know, as the trees were, were just shaking. He saw a shadow that moved. And he shouted, Hey! The sound he made re-echoed in that burial ground. Came back to him. Hey, 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 hey. Like the voice of many people. He said, hey, they are here. And his head started swelling up. How many of you have passed through the burial ground in the night before? It seems as if you are, your head is seven times the size. You understand what I'm talking about? And his head swelled up. He said, hey, they are here. And the thing kept re-echoing back. Hey, 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 hey. And he quickly said, I better do what I want to do on time and get back to the people so that I can prove my point. And he carried his wrapper bru, bru, around in confusion and he started nailing, it, nailing, nailing it there, putting the nail into the tree. But when the hammer sound, he will hear bow. When the hammer sound, he will hear bow. He said, these people are making noise. They are reacting. They are reacting. And he quickly threw the hammer away and turned back to run. Lo and behold, something drew his wrapper back. But Jack, when he looked back, he shouted and he fainted. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Let me tell your neighbor, say fear. Yeah. Say fear. Yeah. In the morning, they escorted. People didn't see him in the house. So everybody had to go and look for him in the burial ground. They said, yes. The evil spirit has killed him. So they went looking for him in the burial ground. On getting to the burial ground, what did they see? They saw a fainted man. So they, they poured water on him and they woke up. He said, what happened? Ah, he said, you people were not here. It is not a joke. There were many spirits. The ones with lantern, the ones with rapper, the ones with three head, the one with four head. They came at me. They rushed me. They drew my rapper back. Ah, I didn't know what happened to me. They told him, they said, where did you see all this one? Little did he know that when he was putting the nail into the tree, he nailed his rapper to the tree. So it was the rapper that pulled him back when he was about to escape from the burial ground. And because of that fear in him, he fainted. Fear has torment. Somebody tell your neighbor, say no more fear. Say no more fear. If only you can confront that fear. That which you are afraid is also what? Afraid of you. Somebody, some, one, one of the reasons why you are afraid is because you believe you don't have faith. The faith that brought you from your house to this place is enough faith. After all, Jesus did not ask for a big size faith. He asked for a mustard seed faith. What could bring somebody from his place of work in a hot afternoon to such service? Except what? Faith. Tell your neighbor, I have faith. Tell your neighbor, I have faith. And that faith is going to change your story today in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, somebody didn't say good name. I said to change your story today in the name of Jesus. The man will have been able to prove his point, but because he allowed fear into his life. And if there is anything that the devil likes using on the believer, it is fear. It is fear. And I'm here to tell you today that that sickness you are afraid of, is just going to die it will not kill you that man you are afraid of 
is going to come to your side very soon. That situation you are afraid of is going to give way for you. For you that believe it shall be bigger. Amen. The Lord said, be of good cheer. Be of good. Be of good. And what we say in Matthew chapter 14 verse 26. Let's read again. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled. They were troubled. It is a spirit, they said. And they cried out for fear. Why were they troubled? Because they were afraid. Why were they tormented? Because they were afraid. Why could they not see Jesus coming? Because they were afraid. This is the same Jesus they have been with for so many years. At least about three years. Yet, they could not recognize him when they saw him coming. They said it is not possible. Look at a spirit walking upon the sea. Walking on top of water. It is not possible. And they were afraid because of what? Fear. Today you are going to pray. Somebody say pray. pray. Somebody say pray. pray. How many of you are ready to pray today? Some of us are even afraid to pray. I remember I was speaking with a man some time ago. And I told him, I said, tonight, wake up around 1 a.m. and pray. He said, ah, that is when they start their meeting. Even in prayer, they are afraid. That's what is only meant for people that are ready to overcome their fear. That word is only meant for people that are ready to confront their fear. That word is only meant for people that are ready to overcome that thing that the devil has been using to intimidate you. Because it's time to rise up against the lies of the devil. And today when we are going to begin to pray, I want you to pray with everything within you. Because God is going to be doing a new thing. God is going to be doing what? A new thing. How many people believe that? You believe God will do a new thing in your life? Tell your neighbor, say, no more fear. No more fear. Be of good cheer. No fear. Say, no more fear. no more fear. Be of good cheer. No the first seven people that will jump to their feet when I say go, before six o'clock today, your testimony will be right for you. Mind you, I have not said go, but some of us jump off, you jump, they gone. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let's have a seat. I want you to rise up like soldiers. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord is already touching some people in the house this morning. For those of you that have already told you, they said your sickness is not something you, you will take medicine and it will go. We are only managing it. They have indirectly told you there is no hope. They, are in, they have indirectly told you there is no hope. This morning, the Lord is going to destroy that sickness in your body in the name of Jesus. When the time comes, if you are such a person, I want to just come out. You don't need any more faith. The faith that brought you to church today is enough for you. It's enough for you. The most seed faith that took you from your house made you enter into your vehicle and drive down to the church that's all you need that's all you need are we ready now when i say go the first seven people that will jump to their feet hallelujah and shout a big amen before six o'clock today your miracle shall be right for you <laughs> mommy we are not said i like that i like that on your seat put your two hands upon your head I did not say go. <laughs> Sit down. Why sitting on your seat? Put your two hands upon your head. Shout out to me. Say, Father. Father. Say, Father. Father. Let my destiny reject not your blessing. Open your mouth and begin to pray while sitting down. My destiny shall not reject your blessing today. My destiny shall not reject prayers. My destiny shall not reject miracle. My destiny shall not reject healing. It shall not reject breakthrough.
so shall it be in jesus name we pray are you ready when i say go the first seven people that jump up to their feet and shout the mighty amen before six o'clock i guarantee your miracle go put up your two hands to the law raise it very high shout out at me say father as my hands are high above my head as my hands are high above my head raise me far above my fear prayer as my hands are high above my head so raise me above every fear raise me above every trouble raise me above these troubled words are not gone Jesus name we pray three powerful amen. amen aha aha stand very well children of salvation say father say father say father every agent of fear looking around my environment looking around my family looking around my business receive fire prayer In Jesus name we pray in the name of Jesus we pray I pray for you that can shout three powerful amen every agent of fear looking around your family looking around your home looking around your business I decree fire of the Holy Ghost consume them in the name of Jesus raise up your two hands once again Mikado manu soto rima lakado shepe rima nasaya. Say, Father, go to the root of my trouble and destroy them today. Open your mouth and begin to pray. To the root, to the root, to the root. The root of that thing causes fear in me the root of that thing troubling my heart the root of that thing troubling my family the root of that thing troubling my health maluda super ken de lebo su tayeri ababas lipakatore palobasu ni nasa In Jesus name we pray as we are praying that prayer I saw a very big truck just parked and they opened the back of that truck they were bringing out bags bag I said daddy what is the meaning of this the Lord said there are about 14 people here he said that money they have been owing you for long he said hear the Lord that release it to you right now 
Lipa kadoshente ripo sakete ribaladasa. Li koto mina kadori mini kadoshen preni masinia. I can see people, especially women, wearing new clothes all over the place. I said, Daddy, what is the meaning of this? He said, I'm changing their stories. For you that shot a mighty man, the Lord shall change your story. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let there be perfect silence in the house. I could see as if we were in a place, in, in, like in a hospital ward. And I could see people rising down from their beds and jumping up. I said, Daddy, what is the meaning of this? The Lord said, be of good cheer. For that sickness in your body, you shall see them no more. If you are here, they have already told you something close to it. That this sickness is only for management. If you can manage it very well, you'll be okay. But if you don't manage it very well, death. They have told you it's near hopeless. And you are here. And you want God to heal you today. Just make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. The rest of us, you are going to call upon them or just quite three times. How many times? How many times? You will shout in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Everything that the enemy have withdrawn from me, every good thing that they are withholding from me, Baba, by your fire, release them today. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Everything that belongs to me that is still in the hand of the enemy, Father, withdraw them to me now. Withdraw them to me now. We draw them to me now. We draw them to me now. We draw them to me now. Maliga do sheke te ripale de de bosotoma. Repasa palagada repalada da 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 ba ba da da ba ba da da ba ba da da ba ba da ba ba da ba ba sa. Elolo ba ba lagada repende le le bo bo lo brebe de bo 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 zoto repele bro lo bo bo. Sheke te riebe le 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 bo lo brebe de bo lo bo bo lo bro bo bo lo brebe bo zoto ma. E kato sheke te riepele le le bo bo lo brebe de bo bo zoto repele bo suda. Je ploto repele ge de riepele le le bo bo lo bro bo bo lo bo bo lo bo bo lo bo bo lo bo 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 suda. E no lo bro bo bo lo brebele bro bo bo lo bo bo lo brebele lo bo 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 zopro kato shene. Remeke de de bo bo lo bro bo bo lo brebele bo lo bo lo kato brebele zete ribo lo bo suda. Li kato sheke te riepele le bo bo lo brebele bo 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 zopo lo bo 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 suda. Riepele ge de shente le bo lo bo bo lo bro lo bo bo lo bo lo bo bo zoto ribele. In Jesus' name we pray. Three powerful men. Oh, be true. I live in sin. 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 I live in
individuals in the house this morning you have been good before you have been making it but suddenly you find yourself on the floor you find yourself so low that you are near begging but that was not the story before you were really made before the lord said he's giving you another chance today that's a second chance coming for you that's a second chance coming for you if you're in that category of people just quickly run to the front Run to the front, run to the front. A ribiti, a rabata. Just touch the altar. I promise God I will not go back when you do it for me. I'll go back to your seat. Once you turn the altar, you can go back. The Lord will surprise you. Once you touch the altar, you can go back. Touch and go. So that you give other people the opportunity. Touch and go back. Once you turn the altar, you can go back to your seat so that I give other people the opportunity. Thank you, Jesus. There's one more thing we need to do. Just before then, I want to give some people the opportunity. You are here, you have not given your life to Christ. That is the greatest fear. And one of the reasons why some people have not surrendered their life to Christ is, how will I do it? Does it mean I will not enjoy myself again? The best enjoyment is in Christ. The best of all life is in Christ. You are here, you have not fully, and I mean fully given your life to Christ. I want to give you an opportunity to come and do that right now before we go into the next thing. Because the next thing is that as we we're praying, I could see something that looked like cloud gathering. Gathering. I said, Daddy, what is the meaning of this? 
the lord said many people are leaving this assembly today with favor upon their heads listen to what will begin to happen after today you will not need to apply before they call you what you did not even know that belongs to you they will come and surrender it to you somebody shall favor if you are here you have not given your life to christ i want to just quickly come and meet me here let's quickly come forward you are there you have not given your life to christ don't allow this opportunity to pass you the reason why you are here is to surrender that totality to christ if you are here rise to your feet and come forward anybody in the house thank you father thank you father anybody in the house hallelujah let's bow our heads heavenly father we thank you lord we worship you for a time like this uh -uh. that man the lord said that fe fear in you will not go because you are not in me I'm giving you the second opportunity again. You may not have it again. Come and surrender your life to Christ. Because God wants to do something mighty in your life. Just rise to your feet where you are. You are that person. You know you have not totally given your life to Christ. Rise to your feet where you are. Rise to your feet where you are. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come and meet me here. I congratulate you because you are not going to miss it. And if you are still in the house, you want to join him, better come very quickly. Time is not on our side. That thing that has been causing that fear in you, you are beginning to tell it to God now. If you are still in the house there, you know you have not given your life to Christ and you need to do, come and join him here. Come and join him here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's rise to our feet. Is the cloud of favor. The cloud of favor. The cloud of favor. Let's wave a hands to the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. How many of you desire that cloud of favor? The cloud of favor. I prophesy to somebody here. Before next week, Wednesday, your testimony shall be ready. Raise up your two hands to the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody shout after me. Say, Father! Release that favor upon my life. As an evidence of your faithfulness. In the name of Jesus. Turn it to prayer. Before I go back to my house, before I go back to work, before I embark upon this journey, let that favor report on me now. Let it report on me now, 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 now. In 
in Jesus' name we pray. Stretch out your hands in front of you. Package your offering. Package your offering. Package your offering. Package something that is good enough to attract favor to you. If you can hear what I'm hearing now, you'll just be full of smile. Somebody, your favor is already waiting for you at home right now. That's a good news waiting for somebody at home right now. Right now. Right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Raise it up with your hands. As I pray for you. Libra malado shekeri mana santa bakodasa. Lito pra malida do shepre ke de moson tare pa ke de mosonia. Father, in the name of Jesus. That amen remain one step. Father, in the name of Jesus. Favor beyond their imagination release unto them. Favor that will cause them to cheer up release to them. Between now and this evening, let manifestation of favor begin to speak in your life. As you shout a mighty amen, let your testimony be ready before Wednesday. So shall it be. 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 In the name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor, say, I see favor on you. You can't miss it. Take that home. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe that his favor upon you, shout hallelujah. Everything a double, double. Don't, don't sing it. Time is against us. Let's share the grace and fellowship. And then you can begin to drop your offering as you go. The grace and fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit.